Alrighty, amigos, we are gonna try some night, some night fishing, man. Let's see if we can catch a few fish. Gonna be throwing a double shad rig like I always do. You guys know I love throwing that rig. 6.30 p.m., sun's going down, but let's see if we can get on a few fish, man. Let's see what we can catch, guys. I believe we also have some, uh, some cut mullet that we're gonna throw on bottom. Tom A. Park down here in South Texas, for those y'all that know where we're at or this spot looks familiar to you yeah it's a little cold man luckily i got two jackets on that's a little cold right yeah let's see we throw this one out there got that double shed rig man piston carbon x 2000 on a medium light rod super cold right now it's actually like 55 degrees but last time a little brother came out here and he absolutely slayed those speckled trouts Whenever this water gets cold, man, I've had a lot of luck here at this pier catching a bunch of trout. The only issue is that he was catching those fish like two weeks ago, so we'll see those speckled trout are still here. But he was telling me he caught like literally over a hundred trout here. They're supposed to, they're supposed to be here next uh, next week. Jeremy's prepared, man. He already knows what to do. A little Ryobi action, Ryobi. rechargeable. This is an AM lure though. I ran out of the other ones. Better glow, see? All right. Oh damn, it does glow. Yeah, yeah, dude. Some, some fish popping. How many fish did you catch here last time? Oh, I got bumped. I got bumped. So Lopez is gonna start driving with her to the park, park or what? Yeah. Got a little trout skis, guys. Little trout skis. Jumping the top. He hammered it though. Hit the a he hit the AM lure. Open up, buddy. I'm gonna release ya. Beautiful speckled trout, man. Let's see if we can get some more. Little trout keys action. This is the rig that I'm using, man. Got an AM lure on top and a regular old shad rig on bottom. Got one. Casting it out there, and we are letting that lure drop, and then just reel it in nice and slow, just like this. Right, Jim? Yeah. So there's light right here. We try to cast like past the light in the darkness, right there. And then you just reel it in. It's uh, it costs ten bucks to come in per vehicle, man. So if you guys want a carpool, you can park like at the stripes in Rio Hondo or park somewhere, and everyone jump in the truck, even jump in the bed of the truck and pay ten bucks, and everyone could come in. Ten dollars per vehicle. Oh, let me let me get you on, on the camera. What are you, what are you doing here, Jim? Oh, lining up a tsunami shrimp on a popping cork. On a popping cork. You made that at the house. Yep. Twenty pound liter. How do you how do you uh, work this right here? I'll show you. I'll show you right now. All right, let's cast it out there. He's gonna show us how to work a popping cork. Man. Cast it out there. All right, cast it out there. Then what do you do? Pop it about three times. Let it sit. Two or three times. Two or three times. Let it sit. Let it sit. You caught something like that last time? Yeah. You caught like a 23 inch, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, your zeros are expensive, man. Oh, I hit the AM lure again. I just missed one, guys. So I saw all the trout working on top. So I casted it out there or casted lure out there just like that. And I kept my rod up and I got hammered on the first cast. Let's see if we can do it again. Cause it looks like the trout are feeding. Nothing on that popping cork. We also have a rod over there to the far left with a big ass piece of fresh yeah. mullet. Where you get that mullet from? That yeah, place? From uh, Quick Stop in South Padre Valley. The same spot? Same spot. Just, when that video posts tomorrow? Wait, today, Sunday? No, it's Tuesday? It's pretty good, the one that when we caught that tri that Park. shark. I'm a rod holder from there. Oh, really? Well, I it. 20 bucks or what? Yeah. Nice. Trying to do more giveaways, so if this video gets 100 likes, Arroyo City night pier fishing, we're gonna be giving away a free cap, right, Jeremy? Yep. Of my choice, I choose it. Whichever one Jeremy wants, man. 100 likes, comment below, Aurora City Night Fishing. Or comment below whatever you want, man, and you'll still be entered. That's the smartest idea I've ever seen, man. I used to just do it with my phone, but that's pretty sweet. Let's see if we can get more, more speckled trout to eat, man. Real Hondo is also supposed to be getting a, uh, a new fishing pier, man, that I'm pretty excited about because I'm from that area. That way I don't have to drive 30 minutes to this uh, pier. Normally I like to go out weight fishing, right? I have a bunch of buddies that have boats and my cousin's a guide also, but uh, 
night was a little bit different, man. I wanted to just chill. I had just worked like eight days straight, so I wanted to take the Sunday off and actually sleep in, which I did. I slept until 7.30 in the morning, which is late for me because I had to wake up early. I decided to come out here to Royal City and see what we can catch, man. 2024, I have a bunch of new products that I'm excited about. Product testing for you guys. That's normally what I do, man. Like this jacket right here, I've been testing it for over a year already. It's like supposed to be uh, water resistant. It's supposed to be insulated on the inside. I don't like to just make a product and just like throw it out there on the internet for people to purchase or give it to a shop for them to sell without actually product testing it for you guys, man. Cause you guys deserve the best. If I buy if I buy something, if I spend money on something, I want it to be legit. So that's usually what I like to do. But anyway, 2024, man, I have a lot of a lot of nice things that are coming out for you guys that I'm pretty excited about. So make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, man, and uh, just be on the lookout for some new gear to be dropping pretty soon. Damn, what is that? 20? Did you catch it? I missed it. 21.7 lions on top. I really wanted the Lions to win, man. Just because those 49ers killed the Cowboys. Yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. That is crazy, man. 24 to seven, Lions on top. I don't think anyone saw that coming. For those of y'all that are watching from down here from South Texas, man, drop a comment where exactly you're from, man. McAllen, Edinburgh, Westaco, Santa Rosa. I'm just curious to see where you guys are from. If you're, if you're thinking about bringing the family out here to Royal City, you can, man. These restrooms are really clean. And it uh, looks like they updated the fishing pier, man. It's been a while since I've actually fished here, but I remember when it used to be like super old. So let's get back to fishing. Anything? It's still early, right? What does it bring, like seven? Ooh, there's some trout there though, man. There's a lot of trout pops, guys. So maybe they're gonna start feeding here in a little bit. Maybe they're a little bit deeper. Let me see if I can get a rod just a tad deeper into the water. Oh, there we go. Damn, you freaking hammered it. A lot of these people left this area, so let's try fishing on this side, man. Normally what I like to do is when I come to these piers, I like to work a corner just because you see how the light goes like that and it's like dark over there. And then the majority of my bites, bigger fish that I catch at a pier are always like towards the edge. And uh, whenever you're at the corner, like that light right there, you can use it to shine up your shine up your low shed. Instead of using your phone or whatever, you can you can just use the, the light. I've been fishing these piers for years, man, because I don't have a boat, right? So that's usually the the trick for me is work the edge of the light. Just that one trout so far, guys. I know I'm giving you guys a lot of tips, and I haven't caught much, but hey, you guys uh, seen the latest videos where I've caught some, some good trout. So I'm just trying to help you guys out for those that like to come out here. And a lot of people that fish this area normally like to throw dead shrimp on bottom with some with some uh, with a weight and they like catch a lot of catfish. That's cool and all, that's what you're going for. But if you're trying to catch trout, small lure, smaller presentation and work the edges of this light right here. So the way I, the way I rig this right here, man, this is a 1 8 ounce, I believe it's a Norton screw lock jig head. Put it just like that right in the middle you push give it just a slight bend because you want it to sit about level see how it was sitting kind of off earlier now it's like straight that's the way i wanted it these these lures right here they glow in the dark so what i do is when i don't have that thing i get my phone you just do that right there there you go now you got yourself a lure you feel this here? Feel it? Toss it? No, oh yeah. Toss it out there. How is this like that? <laughs> That's nice, right? Yeah, That's a. Uh... You got one? Oh. First cast? <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, got it on the. Hit right when it hit the water. Did it really? <laughs> what the? So we, we did not plan that at all, guys. I was just trying to show them that that's a $300 combo. No wonder. And it's, it's really nice, right? Nice. Yeah, yeah, dude. That was funny, man. So I was trying to show him because his, uh, he's got a Pursuit 2 right here. This is a little bit like a medium heavy compared to that medium light rod right there. It's nice, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Boom. Got that on the GoPro. That was perfect. Oh. You want to just keep using it, man? Go ahead. Imagine catching a big ass redfish on this thing. It's 250 for the 
for the real. 150. Huh? No, I want to unravel. Oh, Come on, dude. <laughs> no, no. I saw, I guess uh, 25. It was uh, I bought it for 25 dollars or 20 dollars on raffle. Shimano Vanford, but yeah, it's a 250 dollar reel and 150 to 200 dollar rod that I got for free. So, Paula Rods, if you're watching, appreciate you. appreciate it. Also, another tip what you can do, man, if someone's using a popping cork like this, and I've seen people do it in the bay, and you, and you bring your lure that you cast it out there, kind of like in the area, and then you can actually like use that popping cork to your advantage too. So like if a trout comes in the area looking at his, and he's got some homies or some, some boys with him, you get your lure, right? And then you cast, not right behind him, so you steal his fish, like the way I just did. I'm gonna steal his fish, but... He's popping it and then you bring a lure right around that same area so you can use that pop to your advantage quick tip glow me up bro there we go sick nice i remember we would always come here and you always see like the coyotes on the other side for those that do not know on the other side of this water is the actual refuge that's where some people got in trouble for hunting some nil guy can't hunt fish in the you can't hunt Neil guy in a refuge, guys. You see all those pops, man? There's some trout here working, guys. We only got three or four of them so far, but whenever you hear, hear those little pops, what I like to do, what my brother likes to do, is we cast right where that pop was and work that lure nice and slow. Sometimes you can get lucky and you can catch whatever that trout or whatever popped, whatever hit that water. Whenever you're going to be fishing these piers, guys, this is a $20 combo or a $20 rod that I bought. It's an angler. You can get it at uh, Academy Angler H2O. Medium light, seven foot. It's a big trap. If you're going to be fishing with lures like, all day, especially like at a pier, or if you're going to be weight fishing, try to get a medium light or a medium rod and not a medium heavy. You're not going to get any casting distance and you're not going to get any action in the lure when you're popping it. Also, it's just going to wear out your wrist wear out your elbows man i used to play baseball back in the day so for those of y'all that play sports your elbows aren't the same as they used to be so make sure you you fish for comfort also fish for um whatever you're going to be throwing if you're going to be throwing bait then yes throw a medium heavy rod the lures artificial lures medium light and you'll be good to go